Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joined with my son, Jordan Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our science tutorial videos. In today's video, we will identify and explain the types of gene mutations, so, so let's do this. Our learning targets for today are, number one, I can identify and explain gene mutations, and number two, I can explain how mistakes in DNA replication can lead to mutations. Now there are two major types of mutations, which are gene mutations and chromosome mutations. With gene mutations, there is a change in a single gene. With chromosome mutations, there is a change in the whole chromosome. In today's video, we will focus specifically on the three main types of gene mutations, which are substitutions, insertions, and deletions. Then we will finish up with a summative review. We will cover chromosome mutations in a future video, so stay tuned. But for now, let's dive into gene mutations. So first things first, what are mutations? A mutation is a change in the base sequence of DNA that can affect the structure and function of proteins in a gene. A mutation can occur either due to mistakes when the DNA is copied or as a result of environmental factors such as the exposure to ultraviolet light, cigarette smoke, and several other environmental factors. Mutations can occur during DNA replication. Normally when this happens, the enzyme DNA polymerase proofreads and corrects these errors during replication. But when these errors go without being corrected, it may lead to mutations that can have serious consequences for an organism. For more on DNA replication, click the link above to learn all about this process. In our last video, we talked about the normal functioning of DNA during protein synthesis without any mutations. For more on the process of protein synthesis, check out our video link above or the link in the description box below. But back to protein synthesis. First, a copy of DNA is made during DNA replication. Adenine pairs with thymine and cytosine pairs with guanine. Second, the DNA is transcribed by RNA where now adenine pairs with uracil and cytosine still pairs with guanine. Remember, RNA does not contain thymine so that's why adenine pairs with uracil. This transcribed DNA has now been converted to messenger RNA that leaves the nucleus and attaches to the ribosome where protein synthesis occurs. The messenger RNA is read in three letter groups which are called codons. The order of the letters in these codons is what determines the type of amino acid. Transfer RNA, also known as tRNA, reads the codons and brings the correct amino acid back to the ribosome where the amino acids are put together in the correct order to make proteins. The order of these amino acids is what determines the type of protein and its function. This is what happens during normal protein synthesis when there is no mutation in the DNA. But what if there is a change or error in DNA replication? And that's where we get into mutations. As we said earlier, gene mutations are often called point mutations because they occur at a single point in the DNA sequence. Gene mutations can code for the wrong amino acid which will affect the making of a protein and its function. There are three different types of gene or point mutations which are substitutions, insertions, and deletions. These types of mutations usually occur during DNA replication. Now let's take a look at all three types starting with substitution mutations. In a substitution mutation, one base is changed to a different base. This mutation can be harmless and still code for the right amino acid. For example, if a mutation changed one base of a codon from ACU to ACG, the codon will still read for the amino acid threonine. But a change in the first base of the codon from ACU to GCU now changes the amino acid from being threonine to proline which can have a huge effect on the overall functioning of the protein. One of the most common examples is sickle cell anemia. The blood disease sickle cell anemia is caused by a simple substitution mutation. The mutation causing sickle cell anemia is a single nucleotide substitution from A to T in the codon for amino acid 6. The change converts a glutamic acid codon GAG to a valine codon GTG. This mutation causes the hemoglobin in red blood cells to distort to a sickle shape that is deoxygenated or is lacking oxygen. The sickle shaped blood cells clog in the capillaries cutting off circulation which can be very painful and deadly for individuals experiencing sickle cell anemia. Now let's take a look at insert mutations. An insert mutation can occur when an extra nucleotide is added to the DNA strand during replication. Insertion means exactly what you expect. An extra nucleotide is added into a DNA sequence. Because DNA sequences are grouped in the trunks of three called codons, inserting an extra nucleotide can throw everything off. 
This is why insertion mutations are also called frame shift mutations because they shift nucleotides after the insertion down one space, which causes the ribosomes to read the wrong codons, which leads to coding for the wrong amino acids and ultimately changes the structure and function of the protein. For example, if the normal sequence of DNA is CAG, CCC, ACT, and a T was accidentally inserted between the G and C when this sequence was being copied, it will now read CAG, TCC, CACT. Notice that the T at the end does not code for a complete amino acid. An insertion mutation has occurred. If this mutation was in a gene or the part of a DNA sequence which codes for a protein, it could be detrimental and result in the production of a non-functioning protein. Now let's round it out with deletion mutations. A gene deletion mutation is a mistake in the DNA replication process which removes a nucleotide from the DNA sequence. A deletion mutation is also called a frame shift mutation just like insertion mutations are because both types of mutations shift the DNA sequence down one space which causes the misreading of codons for amino acids. Once again, when this happens, the wrong protein can potentially be made and cause problems or malfunctions in an individual. Take a look at the following example. Notice that in the original DNA sequence code for the amino acid at the top, all the codons code for the amino acid histidine. But if you notice in the DNA sequence at the bottom, an A or adenine nucleotide has been deleted. This affects the entire amino acid sequence after that point, causing the ribosomes to code for the wrong amino acids. This may very well cause a malfunctioning protein, all because of the deletion of one single nucleotide base. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with identifying and explaining the three types of gene mutations by taking our video quiz. You and your electronic device is scan the QR code at the bottom right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record your results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click the bell icon so you don't miss on any of our awesome videos. Peace and have a positive, productive day. You throw another moon at me, and I'm gonna lose it. Dog.